Okay, so let's get right into it. We live in a world where AI can write software, it can paint masterpieces, and it can answer just about any factual question you throw at it. But what happens when we ask it to understand something that on the surface makes absolutely no sense? I mean, take a look at this sentence. You get it. I get it. We instantly see the joke. It's a clever little twist on one of those motivational posters, right? It's got layers. But for a massive, powerful, large language model, this is a real head-scratcher. And that right there is the central puzzle we're going to unpack today. Why does our clever nonsense completely stump the world's smartest machines? To even begin to answer that, we have to be clear about what kind of nonsense we're talking about. Because it turns out, it's a very specific and actually a surprisingly complex part of how we communicate. You see, here's the core issue that researchers are grappling with. LLMs are phenomenal at what you might call statistical fluency. They're amazing at predicting the next word in a sentence. But does that mean they truly understand the context, the culture, the irony behind those words? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? So, researchers have actually given this a name, and it's a great one, drivelology. It's basically the study of nonsense with depth. These aren't just random words thrown together. Oh, no. They are perfectly grammatical sentences that hide a paradox. To get them, you really have to be on the human joke. And this slide just nails the difference. On the right, you have what's called shallow nonsense. It's grammatically fine, but it means, well, nothing. It's just words. But on the left, that's drivelology. It looks like a contradiction, but it's actually a sharp little critique of modern consumer culture. It has a point. What's really fascinating is that this isn't just one big blob of nonsense. The researchers actually identified five distinct flavors of it. You've got misdirection, like our keep sleeping example. You have paradoxes, switch bait, playing on double meanings, inversions that flip a common saying, and of course, good old wordplay. The key thing here is that there's a structure to this creativity. So if you want to seriously test whether an AI can get this stuff, you can't just toss a few examples at it and see what happens. No, you need a proper, scientific, rigorous benchmark. And that is precisely what a team of researchers did. They built something called Drival Hub. And we're not talking about a small sample here. This is a huge data set with more than 1,200 hand-picked examples in six different languages. We're talking English, Mandarin, Spanish, the whole deal. This is a global stress test for AI. And believe me, this data set wasn't just scraped from the internet. It was built through this incredibly intense, multi-stage process with linguists and experts for each language. The whole point was quality control, to make sure every single sentence was a legitimate, high-quality brain teaser for these AIs. So, using this amazing data set, they set up four challenges for the AI, each one harder than the last. First, just basic detection. Yes or no, is this drivelogy? Then, tagging. Which of the five types is it? Then, writing. Okay, actually explain the joke. And finally, selection. Just pick the right explanation from a list. Each step probes a deeper level of comprehension. Okay, so the stage is set. We have the ultimate test and a series of tough challenges. So, the moment of truth. How did some of the most powerful AI models on the planet actually do? All right, let's start with the easy task. This was the multiple choice question. And you know what? At first glance, they look pretty darn good. The top models are hitting the mid to high 80s. This tells us they're pretty decent at pattern matching, at picking the explanation that sounds the most plausible. Not bad. But now look what happens on the hard task. The only change they made was adding a none of the above option. Such a tiny tweak but it forces the AI to actually reason, not just guess. And wow, the performance completely falls off a cliff. The best model, DeepSeek V3, plummets from over 86% down to just 15%. Just let that sink in. On average, these top tier models saw their performance drop by over 70%. This isn't just a small gap, a minor weakness. This is a canyon. It's a massive failure in reasoning. And that giant performance collapse really gets to the core theme of this entire investigation, the huge, stark difference between sounding intelligent and actually understanding. The researchers themselves said it perfectly. 
they found a deep representational gap. That's a technical way of saying that the way these AIs think, if you can call it that, is fundamentally different from how we do. Their ability to string words together beautifully doesn't mean they have real cognitive understanding. Because at the end of the day, this isn't just about getting a high score on a test. The really juicy stuff is in how these models fail and what their different approaches tell us about what's going on under the hood. Take this amazing example. It references Mengpo, a figure in Chinese mythology. Now, DeepSeek V3 actually picked up on the cultural context. It got the reference. But Claude, on the other hand, completely missed the mythology. It just saw a simple logic puzzle. How can you respond if you forgot your name? So you see one model is trying to use cultural knowledge while the other is just stuck on surface-level logic. So let's zoom out. What's the big picture here? Why does any of this matter? I mean, who cares if an AI can't get a joke? Well, it matters because drivelology is basically a stand-in for something much, much bigger. It's a test of whether an AI can handle all the messy, subtle, context-heavy ways we actually talk to each other. If it can't understand these hidden layers, it can never truly understand us. And maybe the single most important lesson from this research is that we can't just scale our way out of this problem. Just making the models bigger and throwing more data at them isn't the magic fix. This isn't a size problem. It's a reasoning problem. It points to a fundamental flaw in their current design. Which leaves us with a final, pretty deep question to think about. Our nonsense, our irony, our jokes, these aren't bugs in our communication. They're features. They're what make our language rich and human. So if an AI can't grasp that fundamental part of us, can it ever truly understand what it means to be human?